Hello, my name is May, and welcome back to Ruining My Hair Part 2. So in last week's bonus video, which can hardly be called a bonus video if I've done two of them in a row, I dyed my hair to this weird grey colour. And it was cute for about a day and a half, until it all kind of washed out. Thank you, hair. I'm very, very glad I wasted my time and money on doing this to my hair, because now we're going to cut it all off. So as you can see, that dark grey colour has kind of faded to this weird blondy green colour. And nobody wants this, and I'm not about to sit here and waste money on more hair dye. So now we're just going to cut it off. All right. So this is not the first time that I have cut my hair by myself. In fact, I was cutting my hair by myself before the lockdown. Not because I do a particularly good job of it, but just because I cannot afford 80 to 100 pounds every time I want two inches cut off my hair. My hair at the moment is about shoulder length. For the length I want, I know that I will still have a tiny bit of this at the ends, but I don't think it will make that much difference in the long run and it will probably just fade out. In any case, even without the grey hair dye, I was definitely in need for a chop. The last time I cut my hair was probably November-ish. Since then, I put on a ton of different bleach, toner, developer, box dye. And from making that video last week, I just realised how fried the ends of my hair were. Here is a close-up of said frying. I know in lots of home tutorial hair cutting videos, it says to straighten your hair before you cut it so you can see the length. But for me, my hair is naturally quite wavy. So if I cut it straight, then it's going to be too short when it dries naturally. For that reason, I always cut my hair wet. So for now, I'm going to go wash my hair, give myself a little bit of a hair mask, and I will catch you guys in a few. All right. So as you can see, my hair is now wet. I'm just going to brush it out so it's all smooth to my head. I always cut my hair wet, but the problem I'm seeing now is that I can just barely see the colour difference in the bottom, so I don't know when to stop cutting. Minor, minor, minor issues. I wouldn't worry about it. The only things I use when cutting my hair is a comb and my scissors. There'll be none of this hairband nonsense. Now, I wouldn't say I am absolutely amazing at cutting my own hair, but I don't do bad at it. I'm going to start by taking a small section of hair, and this will be our guide piece. Now using the guide piece we've just made, we're going to add another section of hair and cut this to the same length and snip. And then we go around the rest of the head doing pretty much the same thing. Always follow your guide. Every so often I'm just going to do like this just to see where that wave hits so I'm not cutting it wonky to the wave. The back is quite difficult because obviously you don't want to redirect the hair too far forward otherwise you're going to get that weird kind of step to your hair. This one I'm not going to use the guide for, I'm just going to chop here real quickly just so I can get a similar length. I'm just kind of eyeballing this. Always use the guide my ass. I'm covered in hair and my legs gone numb. The great thing about having slightly curly hair is that you can just do that and then it all looks normal. How I do the back is I pull it down, just kind of roughly cut it in line with this. That's one side done. For now, for now, don't worry, don't worry. Um, we're not quite finished yet, this is going to involve a lot a lot of fine tuning look this is probably there's probably a slightly more accurate way of doing this but i don't know so now we pretty much go through and we do the same thing on the other side okay so i'm gonna whiz through this other side and i'll catch you guys at the next step okay so both of these sides are the same length i got my boyfriend to come in and help me check that the back was straight and now basically what i'm gonna do is just go through and cut off any you know stragglers or bits that look look slightly uneven i find this easier to do if my hair is tucked behind my ears <laughs> and then i just kind of get the bits that look just too long for the rest now i'm going to cut in some layers i'm going to get a section of hair from the top half of your head pull it the whole way up and tie it where you'd want a section where you'd want a layer even and then just let it drop then we do it on the same on the other side and then with the two little endy doodads i'm gonna snip them off and then you've got a little baby layer this is basically how I cut my own hair. I'm going to go cut off any extra straggly bits and style it. And then I will show you the finished product. All right. I absolutely love it. The cut actually came out so, so, so well. Now I have had many, many a bob in my lifetime. Most of which I have cut myself is definitely my favourite. There was obviously far more grey in my hair than I anticipated. It went much higher than I thought it did. So we've still got a bit of weird discoloration at the bottom. But I actually think it kind of makes it look very cute. I also feel very, very sassy. Honestly, a massive, massive improvement from last week's hairstyle. But that is it, you guys. The end 
of my hair transformation. Finally, I've been transforming my hair for months and it's ended up exactly the same way that I've had it for years. But don't forget to subscribe down below. I upload new videos every single Sunday. My darling flowers, stay wild, stay free, and I will see you all later.